हेलो गेट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल ऑनलाइन मैथ स्टडी टाइम एज आई प्रोमिस्ड वी विल वेरी सोन मीट विद द फर्स्ट वीडियो एंड नाउ दिस इज द टाइम टू डिस्कस विद द वेरी फर्स्ट टॉपिक एंड इट इज रिलेटेड टू क्लास थ्री एंड एज यू कैन सी वी विल स्टार्ट विद नंबर्स अप टू टेन थाउजेंड एंड आई होप बिफोर दैट let's recall all the points that you have already learned in the previous class too okay so so we are going to cover here definitions types conversion facts and examples as let us start with the revision from class 2 that you have learned okay and your teacher taught very well the smallest one digit number and that is zero okay so usually we use numbers from zero to nine and if you remember the one digit number and the smallest one digit number will be zero only and let us go to the next point the greatest one digit number will be nine as i told you the numbers usually represent in mathematics 0 to 9 so 9 is the greatest one digit number understood so the smallest two digit number if you will be talking about that is 10 here are two digits 0 and 1 so it will become 10 the greatest two digit number will be 99 okay the smallest three digit number will be 100 and the greatest three digit number will be 999 so these things you have learned in class 2 and the in class 3 we are going to start with four digit numbers that will be 10000 so here as you can see we finished at 999 so before going to the difficult topic let us again recall the sheets strips and pieces if you have heard if uh, you have been learned about these concept the sheet looks like that you can see the square boxes okay yellow square boxes so this sheet one sheet represents 100 okay and the small cube size boxes you can see these these are called pieces okay and it represents ones can you see here any tens strips no okay it means there is no ten so we will write here zero so what will be the number it is showing through sheets and strips and pieces can you guess yeah it is 308 okay so 8 why it is 8 written on ones place because you can see here eight ones means here are small eight pieces that represents ones and here no tens as i told you so that's why it is written zero and hundreds are three sheets that represent 300 so the number we can become 308 understood let's move to the next point so definition so what is actually uh, the meaning of numbers in mathematics so we use math uh, numbers in mathematics to calculate uh, any uh, means concept okay we need subtraction addition multiplication and division that you will go through the next topic so the value used to represent uh, any quantity okay that is a mathematical concept we use these numbers to measure 
to count, to label, to uh, represent anything, okay, any object. So we need these numbers. So this is very important to learn about numbers. Okay, so that's why we started learning from class one, you know, numbers, and now you are learning in class three, and here it will be goes up to ten thousand. Okay. So as I told you, so here you will learn the four digit numbers. Here you are familiar with ones. Okay, these are called pieces small pieces ones represent the small pieces as you can see there are six ones so it will be written six and the strips are five so the strips represent tens so there are five tens and two sheets we have the sheets are also called hundreds so it means there are two hundreds and now in class 3 you will be going to learn thousands how thousands represent thousands represent a cubical box like okay so it is only one cubical box it is it is representing 100 sorry 1000 now the number be uh, has become 1000 256 okay so you will learn gradually I have many more examples so that you can practice more let's move to the next yeah here you can see another example so look at the digits blue color let's start with ones so here you can see seven pieces and we joined these seven pieces it has become one strip okay one strip actually represent ten ones okay when ten ones join together it will become one ten okay so there are seven ones and how many tens here three tens means three strips we have so each strip represents 110 so we have 110 210 three tens it means we have three tens understood move to the next uh, number that is sheets that represents two sheets we have so it means there are two hundreds okay so there are two hundreds two sheets and the fourth one is one cubical box you can see it is 1000 okay so 1000 so then the whole number is becoming 1237 in this way you will learn to read and write as well okay okay so Next example, you can see here the number is 4276. So let's start with ones place. Six ones we have, seven tens, two hundreds, and four thousands. So the number became 4276. Okay. Yeah, so the next example, this you will try to guess this number. Let's start with ones, always start with ones from the right, we will go from right to left, okay. So ones, how many ones can you calculate, can you count with me, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so here are eight ones understood okay children so there are eight ones okay so i am trying to write it okay so okay next tens how many tens you can see here one two three 
फोर फाइव सिक्स देर आर सिक्स टेन्स अंडरस्टूड सो सिक्स टेन्स वी हैव नाउ हाउ मेनी हंड्रेड्स वी हैव सो वी हैव थ्री हंड्रेड ओके सो वी हैव थ्री हंड्रेड हेयर नाउ मूव टू थाउजेंड्स हाउ मेनी थाउजेंड्स वी हैव वी हैव टू थाउजेंड अंडरस्टूड सो कैन यू ट्राई टू रीड दिस नंबर so the number is 2368 okay yeah so the, this is the answer you can again recall with me Two thousand three hundred sixty-eight. Very nice. I hope you have understood. One more example. Let's start with this. Here, start with yellow small pieces. Can you see? So, how many pieces? Let's start counting. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, again eight. So we will write here eight. Okay, so I will write here down. Uh, see, so there are eight ones. So I am going to write here eight ones. Okay, so these are. Eight ones. So let's start counting tens. Can you see these green strips? These represent tens. So let's start counting tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens. So there are seven tens. Okay, children. So these are seven tens. Now, how many hundreds? Can you see these blue sheets? These represent hundreds. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. So we have five hundred. Okay. So we have five hundred. Now, how many thousands we have? these red cubical boxes we will count 1 2 and 3 so there are 3000 now it's time to read and write the number so the number is yeah you can also try 3000 Five hundred seventy eight. Okay. Yeah. So the number is three thousand seventy eight. Now we will put a comma. Okay. So. Yeah, one question for you. I will be asking in the next class why we put this comma between three and five. If you know, please answer in comments. Okay, you can write down your answer in comments. Yeah, few more example for your practice. So it's time to practice and let's see how much you have learned. Look here. So there are. Look at the first picture. There are how many ones? You can see. Uh, yeah. So here we will choose the correct option. Okay. So you have three numbers here and. 
the blocks are given on the top we have tens we have one sheet means 100 and we have 2000 we don't have ones so which is the correct answer out of these is this 1321 or it is 2130 or the last one 3487 I know you all try to answer but because this is online class you cannot reply but you can write in comment next time. So it is 2130 this is the correct answer okay very nice let's move to the next. So again we have one picture and we have to choose the correct number out of these three numbers 5147, 1763, 1306 out of these which is correct let's see how many ones we have we have six ones we do not have any ten so here it means zero tens we have and hundreds three hundreds and only one thousand we have so the correct answer is i hope you got the answer one thousand three hundred and six yes it is okay let's see the next one the next is we have how many tens one two three four tens we have can you guess what are these yeah very nice these are thousands these are three thousands and four tens there is no hundred no ones can you guess which number is this is this three thousand forty or six thousand five hundred one or four thousand two hundred sixty eight very nice it is 3040 correct answer i hope you have understood how to frame four digit number we will practice more in the next class okay so dear student we have only that much content in the first class i hope you all enjoyed so please subscribe my channel and also like so that you can get the next video very interesting topic and here you will enjoy to learn math it will not be boring subject for you as usual <laughs> okay so bye bye take care god bless you have a nice day ahead